How is the price of a currency determined? Mudra Pandit has been reading newspapers and notices that the price of the US dollar has changed from rupees 50 to rupees 60 in over a month. This has puzzled him. He knows that currency prices are not fixed by the Indian or the US government. So he starts exploring this question in detail. Mudra finds that the price of a currency is closely tied to demand and supply. When the demand increases for goods, services and investments like machinery, garments or bonds that are paid for in US dollars, the price of the US dollar goes up. On the other hand, if the American Central Bank chooses to print more dollars and thereby increase the supply, dollar prices tend to cool off. An important role is played by speculations. If major players in the financial market believe that the value of the US dollar is likely to rise, they buy more of the currency, thus leading to a rise in its price. Mudra further learns that the economic and political conditions of the issuing country affect the price of the currency. If the country is going through a political conflict or an economic crisis, then the value of its currency may go down. The value of a currency is also linked to the future prospects of its issuing country. A country is said to have good future prospects if it has inflation and unemployment under check and sound economic policies. Good prospects may lead to increased demand and hence higher value. Thus, Mudra learns that the price of a currency is the result of not one but several factors. Points to remember price of a currency is dependent on demand and supply. Speculations play a role in determining the price of a currency. The political and economic conditions of the issuing country affect the price of the currency. The future prospects of the issuing country affect the price of the currency.